and gentlemen, how are, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredients. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what today? I'm going to bring to you the topic called Inquiry-Based Professional Development. The research and study was done by Lito in 1996. Okay, I'm going to divide the topics into two parts. One for adult students. The second part is for the practitioners. So what is the Inquiry-Based Professional Development for adult students? We know that for adult students, the profession of this one, this one is their students and uh, the unit place might be in the classroom, the lecture hall, etc. So it is a study that, um, and also adult learning that purposefully builds on the richness and diversity of the real world experience and knowledge uh, that the teachers, tutors and the uh, administrators possesses. It is using both the systematic and the intentional approaches to uh, which means involved in the collecting, analyzing and interpretation of the data uh, that gather in the classroom or in the program sites. So I'm going to talk about the two approaches, the systematic approach and the intentional approach. What do you mean by systematic approach? So systematic approach is primarily the other ways of um, gathering and recording information and documenting the experiences and uh, which take place inside and outside of the classroom and then making a written record. And it is the other ways of recollecting, rethinking and analyzing the um, classroom events for which they may be partially or unwritten records. What about intentional approach? Intentional approach is just simply the teacher's um, research uh, is an activity that is planned rather than uh, the spontaneous activities. So now second part is for the practitioners. So what is the inquiry-based professional development when applied to the practitioners? Here, practitioners, we know that they are the uh, university-based researchers and the uh, teacher educators, the policy makers, the funders, and also the government administrators. So practitioners' inquiry or teacher research may involve in course of observation, documentation, and analysis of the some uh, something that going on in a, a classroom section or tutoring section or in the program section, or it is involved in the deliberate intervention or a change. Uh, a change response in a perceived problem or uh, questions. The features of practitioners may involve in like first one, the practitioners may see themselves as the uh, people who initiate and generate the questions. Number two, practitioners um, see themselves as learners who are using the strategies to initiate and support the inquiry. They also supporting students with teaching them how to articulate the questions by teaching them how to interact with the colleagues and the literature, by teaching them how to um, observe and documenting the uh, practice, and by teaching the students how to process uh, an intention to solve a problem. For example, the problem involving social, cultural, political or cognitive spectrum. But especially it is something to do with the uh, community context okay that's all for, for me today um please do subscribe and like my um subscribe to my channel and like my video thank you very much for tuning in until next time and goodbye